All right, Yama, so we're here to make a new user list. Correct. A uh, user list is basically creating a group. Right. In order to uh, create a user list, you click on the plus button next to the user list, and we can give it a name. Tutorial. Right. Once you do, um, th uh, the user list is added to uh, the sidebar uh, where we have tutorial. And currently, we don't have anyone uh, uh, that there. So um, we'll pop that out. Yep, we'll detach it, and now we'll start adding people okay. in order. I'm going to first click on users, so as we add them, we can see them popping up over on the right. OK. So uh, uh, we're just going to add a couple people. Um, in order to add, you click on the gear wheel and um, add to the user list. When you do that, there's a pop-up that will give you the choice of who, uh, where to add the user list to. We'll be adding everybody to tutorial this time. Okay. So once again, the gear, click on it, add to user list. And in this particular instance, we're adding people to tutor tutorial. Mm -hmm. And they're adding over here. Correct. Now, when you add them to a user list, um, they will their tweets will only show up going forward. So okay. you won't, they won't be going back. Um, it's it's uh, something that'll be more uh, that's more effective in terms of the performance for the desktop. All right. All right. So what you're saying is, as I go here, so I'm looking at the user list at this point, and I click out of the users, and I'm only seeing the tweets that happened since we added somebody to the list. Correct. All right. And here, uh, Alexis here um, uh, added someone, or just made a tweet, and right. she's added she's added to the column that we've created. Great. Um, and most of the buttons are very clear at the bottom. Uh, users, when you click on users, will give you the list. If you click on it again, will give you the list of tweets of the stream. Okay. Rename is actually renaming the list. We'll um, capitalize it. It looks okay. nicer. Right. Clearing is to clear the stream if, in case it gets a little bit too convoluted. So everything that's up here, I can clear. Correct. Okay. And then going forward, any any streams that come in will be added. Okay. Uh, the other button there is remove. Remove actually completely removes and deletes the list. So we just lost our tutorial. Correct. Okay. Right. And that's sort of a warning. We're we're going to be adding uh, we're going to be adding some uh, warning features there. But that's something that we'll create. And I guess the last thing we should show is how to take somebody off of a user list. So we've just added. I'm making our tutorial list again. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Here's our user, the one user we have mm -hmm. right now. I'll add another. Just we'll add Alexis back real quick. And we actually didn't want Dale, so we can just click on the minus sign. Yeah. And he's gone. No offense, Dale. No, you're you're a great guy. <laughs> All right. Um, Did we miss anything? Uh, one way also is if you want to add uh, to actually find people, mm -hmm. um, you can actually go through a specific account. Okay. Um, go through Jay Yamasaki and then go through the lookup. And if you want to look up a specific person that you want to add, you can look them up there. So we looked up Thomas Knoll earlier. And, and let's we'll go ahead and add him. OK. And just to show how to do it, we'll add me. There I am. Add to the user list. There you go. So that's how you find people. Mm -hmm. And from there, um, that's um, one way you can control the stream. You can control it. Uh, you can have a group of close friends, uh, a group of professional networks, or anything that you'd want to see in terms of controlling your stream. Great. Thank you.